What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel and happy new year to everybody. Hopefully everybody had a good 2023 and is ready to pursue their goals in 2024. But in today's video, we are rocking out with the king of Trick Room. Rhyperior is back in the game, returning from the Indigo disc and I'm super excited to be using this Pokemon. Like I said, this Pokemon is phenomenal in Trick Room. And now with Terra in the game, Terra types actually make this Pokemon even stronger. Its two main weaknesses are water and grass, both four times super effective for that. Now with the grass Terra on this Pokemon, we're gonna be able to dodge that and make this Pokemon even better. But Rhyperior is over here rocking the solid rock as its ability and the weakness policy as its item. And then its moveset is phenomenal. You got EQ, Rock Slide, both for stab damage, and then you got Ice Punch to protect. Really can't go wrong with Rhyperior. Pairing up with Rhyperior in today's video is going to be our Trick Room Center. It's going to be Bronze Out over here. Now, Bronze Out is good for two reasons. One, it can set up Trick Room, it's bulky enough to soak up some shots and set it up. And then two, it has Levitate. So, standing next to Rhyperior, Rhyperior can ultimately just go into EQ all day without touching our ally Pokemon. Bronze Out also has Ice Spinner if we want to proc weakness policy on the Rhyperior. We got Body Press, Iron Defense for that plus two setup. And like we already mentioned, Trick Room for, you know, setting up Trick Rooms for Rhyperior. In our bottom two slots, we got Incineroar and Raging Bolt, two more new Pokemon from Regulation F, or I should say from the Indigo Disc. And Incineroar, always top tier, you can never go wrong with it. And Raging Bolt is starting to become one of those Pokemon. Has great moveset with first turn priority Thunderclap, and then two heavy stab moves to Draco Meteor and Thunderbolt. Like I said, Raging Bolt's really strong special attacker, we'll definitely be using him in today's video. Final two Pokemon on the team is going to be Tornadus. Tornadus is good for the other side of this team, whereas we have Tailwind to set up. And we also have Weather Control with him for Rain Dance. And then we got Ogapon, who's just a solid Pokemon all around. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's content, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But let's get after it. Let's hop into our first match. This team right here was sent to me over on Twitter by my boy Dragonair Jordan. Huge shout out to him. We'll be linking his pages down in the description below alongside with the Pokey Pace. So if you guys want to check out any of the details of this team, like I said, head down in the description below. But we're going up against an Ooxie team here in match number one, alongside with Hydrapple, Sinisha, who can pop Trick Room, and same thing with Dusclops, who can pop Trick Room. Final two Pokemon, they have Dragapult and Tingaloo. So Trick Room, if they want to pop it, I'm cool with it. I got Rhyperior and I am ready to go. I am ready to go with Rhyperior. I just love this Pokemon so much. I really do. So I could go Bronzong turn one. I could. You have a solid Terra type of Fairy to dodge any like ghost moves coming in here. So I could just go Bronzong alongside with Rhyperior, which would not be bad. It definitely wouldn't be bad. So you know what? I'm going to do that. Bronzong, Rhyperior here turn one. We will bring Incineroar in the back end. And last but not least, Raging Bolt's not bad just for first turn priority, but the only problem is they have a few Pokemon that just soak up electric moves, right? So I could go Ogre Pond. I think Ogre Pond would be a little bit better, right? Could go Ogre Pond. Yeah, I'm gonna go Ogre Pond here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. I am scared of the Hydrapple. Definitely a little scary, but I think we should be fine here. If they want to leave Pokemon to set up Trick Room, such as like Dusclops, I'm thinking of just setting up like a Iron Defense, letting them set up Trick Room, and then kind of going from there. I think that could work best. I think it definitely could. So we'll see who they want to lead here. And it is going to be Ting Lu alongside with Uxie. The Ting Lu and Uxie come out onto the field. Nothing too crazy. Special attacks could be dropped, but good thing I have physical attackers. Now Uxie does learn Levity, which is a slight little problem. And I think Trick Room is going to be our play. And why do I feel like Uxie might have. I feel like Uxie might have, what's it called? Levity, right? So you know what, I'm just gonna drop a rock slide or do I just start ice punching? I'm just gonna protect and feel out what he's gonna do, to be honest. I just wanna feel out what he's gonna do. Let's see, I'm pretty sure Uxie has Levity as its ability, so ground moves will not affect it. And Uxie's just gonna set up a Stealth Rocks here. So Stealth Rocks comes out and about, I don't mind it too much. Um. Spikes is also coming out here, and I kind of mind that a little bit. Well, I should have just like set up an iron defense there. We're gonna get our trick room here. The so trick room out and about. We got Rhyperior ready to rock. Um, I think I'm just gonna set up this iron defense. Iron defense and just start throwing ice punches into Ting Lu just to see how much damage it can do. Or I can start dropping rock slide. And yeah, I'm gonna drop rock slide. A little bit of stab damage. We'll kind of go from there. I set up this big time iron defense, get that defense boosted, and ultimately making our uh, body press do a bit more damage. 
The Rock Slide is not doing that much damage, but hey, he's still chunking up shots and has a chance of flinching. This thing actually has Red Card. That hurts the soul. Red Card comes out here, and I might just go into Incineroar. Oh no, they, they're forcing a Pokemon out here. It's going to be Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond just gets dragged out here. Lovely. Red Card on Ting Lu out of nowhere. Spikes hurting me and Stealth Rocks. It's going to end up yawning me, which kind of sucks. And from here, we make Ting Lu flinch. So I mean, I guess we'll keep Ogre Pond out here. I don't mind it too much. We go for Body Press, and I think I'm going to do that. Body Press and just ultimately go for an Ivy Cudgel into this slot. Yeah, cool with that. The body press is doing a huge chunk of damage with Bronzong. Yawn's gonna come out here. They're gonna double put me to sleep. I mean, the Yawn's kind of there just to uh, force me to swap out. And I think we're fine. Uxie's actually soaking really well. And a Whirlwind coming out here. So, this is kind of annoying. So, you're just gonna make me swap in and out and just have spikes and stealth rocks do damage to me? Bring back out Rhyperior, please. Thank you. Right here, it comes out here. I don't know if it takes Stealth Rocks damage because it is rocks. No, it does. It does. So, a little bit of damage on each side. Um, I think from here, we could send EQ. I could just go for Ice Punch. I kind of want to just try to KO this Ting Lu, but this thing is actually really annoying. And actually, let's just do this. Let's just do this. I'm just going to protect him this turn. I'm going to have Ogre Pond finish you off with Horn Leech. I like this turn. So Protect comes out from Rhyperior. We block it up. This Stealth Rocks is mad annoying. We still have Bronze Ox Jr. And Ruination comes through here. Trying to half my HP. Not dealing with you. Not dealing with you. You turn coming in hot into Ogre Pond. Doing a decent amount of damage. And they swap Uxie back. So this first match is really throwing me for, for a run here, right? They're really throwing me for a run. I wanted to pop my weakest policy and all that good stuff, but them yawning, them doing all this crazy stuff, really just throwing me off. So Hospitality comes out here, they get back some HP, Horn Leech is also flying, getting off some nice damage, and I will get back some HP. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now I'm asleep. Love, just what I wanted. So now I'm asleep, um, they could Rage Powder, I think that's going to be their play. I'm just going to go for a, a punch here, and actually I'm going to Terrastalize. I'm going to Terrastalize and punch at the same time. So Terrastalize, punch comes out here. We're just going to stick with, I guess, like a Horn Leech. And we'll go from there. This is going to be this is a long match. This is going to be a long match. We still have Incineroar in the back end. Incineroar is actually pretty solid up against a few of these guys. I got Fake Out ready to go. I just wasn't able to set up my Rock here, which I really wanted to do. That was my plan. Ice Punch flying. Taking out the Ting Lu, big time KO. The reason I want to change into this uh, terror type is because Machi Gotch is kind of looking scary. Yeah, four times super effective, would have done a huge chunk of damage. But in this case, we're able to soak no problem. And we'll get after smash. So Ogre Pond's still slump. I think we have one turn left in Trick Room. No, it just ended. This just ends. Um, okay. From here, I think just doing as much damage as I can with with Rhyperior is my call, right? So we got rid of the Ting Lu. They have Uxie in the back end. And then I don't know who their final Pokemon is. Which I feel like that's going to have to be a good Pokemon to actually pick up some KOs. And they just turn off their console. We love it. We love it. So match number one, long drawn out. Would have definitely been close, but they end up just quitting. I guess our opponent's plan in the last match was to just set up spikes and stealth rocks and force me to swap in and out, but it wasn't really working for them, so I guess they just ultimately quit. But now we're in our second match and going up against a pretty cool sun. They got Whimsicott, they got Torkoal, two Pokemon to set the sun, they got Walking Wake who thrives out in the sun, and then they're also rocking out with Chiyu and Mimikyu. And Cleavor. Cleavor's such a cool Pokemon. But what I think they're going to do is try to set the sun here. I could go Trick Room with Bronzong and Rhyperior. That is definitely an option, but I also want to go into a Pokemon that can control weather, which would be Tornadus. Tornadus could come out here. I'm kind of about it. I'm kind of about these two. I actually really like these two. So I'm going to bring in both of those again, try to set up Trick Room. We're going to go Tornadus and late game. We could go Incineroar or Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt's not bad for first turn priority, and I kind of really like it. So I am going to go in the Raging Bolt. Plus his HP and special attack should be rather high. Yeah, 188, 224. Come on, man. This thing's pretty solid. And plus in Trick Room, it's not bad. 
It has like 94 speed. Not bad, especially if we're going up against Pokemon like Whimsicott, Walking Wake, Chiyu, Mimikyu, Cleavor. They're all going to be faster than them. So, not bad. Not bad for us. Definitely not bad. But I want to look to use Rhyperia a little bit more here. He picked up the only KO, but we didn't really get to use it too well. Something I am scared of is going to be like the Torkoal. But at that point, I can just like EQ freely with Bronzai next to it. Whimsicott's a little scary too. But Walking Wake's probably the scariest, right? Because if that thing gets into sun, water moves do so much damage. I do have the grass terror type. But that'd be a bad terror type to change into, especially up against a sun team. In Trick Room, like Torkoal could just pop up and just take me out in problem. So we might not even want to pop Trick Room, depending on who they bring out here. We might not even want to do it. They're going to go Walking Wake and Wimscott. So they could set the sun no problem. They could set sun no problem. And I think our best bet would just be to Terrasilize you. And just send an EQ. I'm cool with that. And then pop a trick him at the same time. I doubt you have Imprison. The reason we want to Terrasilize a Rhyperior is because I think they might just set the sun and go for a Hydro Seam. So if that's the case, we can dodge the heavy hitting move. We can pop Trick Room, and then if they have Torkoal, mm, then we're then we're sitting with a little problem there, right? Because then he has then he's super effective on the two of my Pokemon. But we'll figure it out from there. We'll figure it out from there. We're just gonna hope that he doesn't have Torkoal. That's more so my play. So there's Sunny Day. The Sunny Day Hydro Steam probably coming out here. Again, I don't mind it. I don't mind. It's gonna get the Protosynthesis pop. Special attacks gonna get boosted, and he goes for the Hydro Steam, which still should do a chunk of damage, right? Yeah. A huge chunk of damage, a bit too much damage. We don't like that. EQ is now gonna fly. Um, Levitate's gonna pop, and I should be able to chunk up some nice damage here. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So now what I'm thinking of is going for the Ice Spinner into the right here, and then just pop another EQ. And would Rock Slide be better? Rock Slide might be better here. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. Rock Slide, Ice Spinner to prop weakness policy. And we'll go from there. Hopefully picking up the double KO. That'd be massive. But again, we're really hoping Torkoal's just not chilling in the back end. He's just such a big threat. Torkoal is just such a big threat. So Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. We're gonna pop up a little bit of damage. Now we're down to 47, but we do get that weakness policy out and about. It's huge. The weakness policy is here. Rock Slide coming in hot here. Can we get a double KO or something? Rock Slide coming in hot. Picking up the double KO. Beautiful. So good call for us to switch to Rock Slide instead of EQ because EQ might have not been KO'd in this card. And now we get rid of them. Now, fingers crossed for no Torkoal. Rhyperior's absolutely thriving out here right now. And if Torkoal's not on the field, we could pretty much just win this match. But I feel like Torkoal's got to be on this field. Yeah, there's the Torkoal. So that's tough news for us. And honestly, my best bet might be to just... Might be just to sacrifice the, uh... It might just be to sacrifice this, uh, what's it called? This Bronzong. I'm gonna go for another Trick Room because that would help us out tremendously. But chances are he's just gonna rip into my Bronzong and take us out with any Fire move. So I'm just gonna protect my... Rhyperior here. If Bronzong goes down, we bring out Tornadus, we set the, the rain. And then we kinda just go from there. We're going to see a nice big time terror type come out from Torkoal going into a straight fire terror type. And that just screams, see you later to, uh, to Bronzong. It just screams it, right? Bronzong's dead. Bronzong's a goner. Gone. He's gone. Eruption comes out here. Yeah, Bronzong's so dead. <laughs> We're so dead. No problem. So again, Torkoal's just a major threat. And I'm going to come out here. I'm going to set the rain. We're just going to try to negate some of this damage that this thing's outputting. But he's still going to be able to KO my Rhyperior, which kind of sucks. I could swap Rhyperior. I could definitely swap Rhyperior. I could swap Rhyperior if I want to, but do I really want to? I could just let it die, which might be our best bet. Because there's two turns left in Trick Room. I should have Protect on you. I do. So I can out Protect and kind of just go from there. 
But I'm just gonna go for an EQ, because if I can land it, that'd be nice. And I'm just gonna pop a Rain Dance. The Rain Dance coming out here, we're changing to Weather Back. We say, Ayo, no sun. Torkoal should still be able to do enough damage to pick up the KO onto my, onto my Pokemon. And this is where things get a little tough for us, because he's just gonna Stone Axe me, KO me. And now this turns into a 2v1 situation. And if Torkoal's not Choice Bandit, or Choice Specs, which it could be, it definitely could be. If it's not, oh, we dodge that. That's a big time dodge. That's a big time dodge. We, we can double protect here. <clears throat> That's a big time dodge. That actually just saved me. That actually just, just made things a lot easier for me. Because I was going to say, if Torkoal is Choice into Eruption, that could be really good. But now I get Tornadus out here, I can double protect, and then I can outspeed and drop a Bleak Wind Storm. Okay. I like it. Then we might double down the cleaver first and foremost. We'll see. We'll see. But that's so big for us. That's massive. That's ungodly big for us. That we dodged that stone axe. But we let the Rhyperior die out. Rhyperior did some work early on there. Picking up a big time double kill. We double protect the waste out the last turn in trickery. And the Raging Bolt, Giant, Brontosaurus, Slash, Giraffe. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a Brontosaurus, right? <laughs> it looks like a brown source. It looks like a draft at the same time. So, I don't know. I think I think it technically is a brown source, but it's so sick. <laughs> X scissor comes out there. We block it up. We block the eruption damage. We should be thriving. We should be good. So now from here, um, we definitely want to go for the bleak wind storm. And would I rather double down to cleaver or Torkoal? Probably cleaver, right? With a thunderbolt, thunderbolt and bleak wind storm across the board. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. The Cleaver's so sick, too. I feel like everyone loves Cleaver ever since it uh, made its appearance in Legend Arceus. I love it so much. But he ends up protecting Torkoal. Good thing we're doubling down into the Cleaver slot. The Torkoal gets to protect here. Bleak Windstorm Shrine. It's going to hit up on the Cleaver and get blocked by the Turtle. Can we get a Speed Drop as well? I would love a Speed Drop. Because I don't know if Rage of Bolt outspeeds. It does not. Excision flying through here. Ouch. Ouch. Thunderbolt gets cooking. And he picking up the KO all day. All day. So from here, I'm dropping Draco Meteor. I'm dropping Bleak Wind Storm. And we trying to rip up here. The Draco Meteor flying. Hopefully this lands. 90 accuracy. I have faith in my boy. I have faith in my boy. And then we're just going to pop a Bleak Wind Storm at the same time. And they end up just canceling the match. Final match on its way. We're sitting 2-0. And we've been using this team really, really well. The first match was kind of a stall match. And they ended up just canceling the match. And then the second match, Rhyperior killed it in... The beginning, picking up two big time KOs, and then Raging Bolt and Tornadus in the back and cleaning up the mess. But we're going up against another Sun team Whimsicott, Ninetales, Incineroar. They also have Gouging Fire, and then they got Venusaur and Archaluda. Now, Shrek Room definitely going to be a good friend of ours, and Rhyperior is going to be great. This time, they're not rocking Torkoal, so if we can just set up this Trick Room, we can really get thriving from that. So, I'm going to go in the Bronze Island. I'm going to go in the Rhyperior. I'm also going to be bringing in Raging Bolt. Do I bring in Rage Bolt? Could go in Cinnamore, especially with a Sun Team. It wouldn't be too bad. It wouldn't be too bad. Knock off Party Shot, all that good stuff. I like that a lot. And then we could just go Ogre Pond, or I could just go Tornadus back end. Actually, what am I thinking? Tornadus, Ogre Pond, right? Or Tornadus and Cinnamore. Tornadus and Cinnamore. I like it. I like it a lot. We're locking it in. We're locking in, looking for the perfect record. And I'm kind of hoping we could just set up Trick Room. And kind of have Rhyperior do all the work, especially going up against Pokemon like Venusaur. Um, who else is there? Venusaur, Ninetales, Gouging Fire. We're pretty much super effective onto all of them. But they end up leading these two. And this is where things get rather annoying. This is where things get rather annoying because if they put my bronze on the sleep, we have a problem. We have a problem. And I'm going to just Terrastalize it and go for the, the Trick Room. Yeah, do not put my bronze on to sleep. Just go after my Rhyperior, please. Just go right after my Rhyperior. Target down Rhyperior. I hope Venusaur goes into Rhyperior and then Ninetales tries attacking my bronze on with a fire move. Because at that point, I should be able to soak because we terrestrialized it. Or should we be able to pop Trick Room? So no sleeps allowed. No sleep out. So don't, don't, don't be that person. Just don't be that person. Thank you. Thank you. Going for the Solar Beam. That's got to be into the, the Rhyperior slot. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Then you go for a fire spin. Beautiful, beautiful. We love it. We love it. We absolutely love this. 
Now I get off a trick room. Now I get off the trick room. And I'm gonna pop weakness policy on my Rhyperior. And I'm gonna try to take out the Venusaur more so than anything, right? Ice punch that thing, try to dump on that, and go from there. Probably my best bet, right? I could go for EQ. EQ's looking good, but Ice Punch would do more damage, correct? Yeah, this would do 150. This would this will also do 150. So, hmm. This is tough. This is tough for me. They're both doing 150. This will also get rid of the Nine Tails. This is tough. I kind of just want to ice punch you. Just to KO you. And then we can body press into you if we want. Actually, we can just ice spin into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to go for ice punch here. So I'm popping policy. If we can get rid of Venus Ring, this is just massive. I think we should be able to. I think ice punch should be able to work. And then we can just start freely dropping EQs. So there's all the boosts. Ice Punch flying, fingers crossed. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think EQ was picking up the KO on that thing. I really don't. I really don't. Fire Spin's gonna get cooking. And from here, it's free. EQ send it. Weakness policy pop. EQ run it up. Send as many EQs as we can. We could start iron defensing if we want to, but I mean, Fire Spin's chipping up on us. Um, I think we just started attacking him, right? We should try to do as much damage as we can. So, Ninetales might be Sash. Gouging Fire can come out here. And I think Gouging Fire might Thrasslize. Um, he does have that that move that protects and burns. But EQ should be fine. So I'm going to pop EQ. Just send it. And from here, I mean, we sh could pop an Iron Defense. I'm going to go for an Iron Defense. A lovely little Iron Defense. So, right here, picking a big time KO with Ice Punch. I kind of like where we're sitting. The Iron Defense comes out here, and this is not looking good. They're not going to terrestrialize with this thing raid EQ. That's big time mistake. The King of Trick Room striking. Double KO all day, right? Unless sashed. Get him on out of here. Then <laughs> wrap this one up. Wrap this one up. Like I said in the beginning, the King of Trick Room is back. The King of Trick Room. He's here. The GOAT. Give him his crown. Put the crown on his head. Come on now. That's too easy. That's too easy. Surprised no terror came out there. Watch, they're gonna go into it like another fire Pokemon. No, it's just gonna be Arch Ludon. I'm still gonna rip into. I'm still going her. I got EQ ready to roll, and I got body press plus two on defense. GG's cancel the match. Give my guy the crown. Put it on his head. Body press coming out here doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And right here, you're just gonna say. Wrap it up, picking up all four KOs in the final match, and we get the nice lovely sweep. So it's that easy, guys. It is that easy. I told you guys, the king of Trick Room is back. Rhyperior lighting it up on the casual ladder today, setting it up with Bronzong. It was that easy. Had a great set of matches today. We actually did not use Incineroar, which is kind of funny because Incineroar is probably the best Pokemon on this team. But I love not using Incineroar. He's going to be on pretty much every team in rank regulation F. So you guys will see it plenty of times. But right here, absolutely lit it up. Like I said, we got to use Rage Bolt, Ogre Prime, Tornadus as well to control weather and just go from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.